In this video, we're going to go over the difference between histograms and bar charts, just so you can see the difference between the two, since they really do look almost the exact same after you make them, and uh, see an example of when you would want to make a histogram versus a, a bar chart. Here is a bar chart and a histogram, and hopefully you are noticing that um, one looks a little bit nicer and easier to look at than the other one, the histogram. And the uh, so what we're going to be talking about is the difference between the two and why one of them is not the best option. And these are actually both representing the same data. So this and this are actually showing the same thing. They're just showing them differently. So why would we want to use a histogram? Um, so if we zoom in on this bar chart right here, we're going to notice that this is actually, um, if you can't read it, this is the ages at Sly Park and we have a frequency table here. So this is kind of a make-believe example of if we had recorded the ages of people who went to Sly Park for our class. So who went to Sly Park for our class? Well there was um, everyone in the class, there was me, and then there was the chaperones. So if we're looking at our frequency chart here, we're noticing that there are lots of people who are kind of 10 years old to 13 years old uh, maybe some of the younger people in class and maybe some people just turned 13 if it's like the middle of the year um, you know it, those might be possible ages of people in the class then there's not going to be anyone in their upper teens or lower mid 20s and um, then you know I'm 29 so here I have me in the up here and then uh, chaperones would be like in the 30s and 40s because they're mostly your parents. That's m pretty much how old most of your parents are. Um, so if we took all that information and we made a bar chart, what we end up with is something that looks like this. Now it looks like this because, sorry, it looks like this because obviously there's no one one years old to nine years old. There's all this giant gap where people are in their teens and you know there's some gaps over here so this works but the problem is is you end up having to make this giant chart because a bar chart actually lists out things on the x-axis um, sequentially they list out every number so they're going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all the way up to forty so what you end up with is you end up with these giant gaps where you have nothing and, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that but it ends up making you have to really have these charts that are way zoomed out because you have to fit everything on there. So a histogram is nice because what it does is this histogram um, actually takes into account the same information. So if I look back up here, it's the same info, but what I did is instead of going, you know, how many people are one, how many people are two, how many people are three, it groups up the ages by tens so the first 10 years 10 years 10 years 10 years and how many people are in those groups um, notice that these all represent the same amount it's 10 years 10 years 10 years 10 years um, your categories have to represent the same amounts but now that I've grouped them into categories not only does it um, make our our chart look much nicer and it's easier to see we don't have really gaps anywhere um, but it's it's also a little bit um, it's it's easier to make because we don't have to have nearly as much labeling uh, because we don't have you know forty we don't have forty things down here we only have four one for each category so much nicer. Here we're gonna make a table real quickly and first we're gonna make it a bar chart to see kind of you know how you would make a bar chart and then we're gonna see how that would look a lot nicer with a histogram so this table is a frequency chart that shows the number of retakes that people need to take and so if I I already made the uh, the kind of the outline for the table notice how the retakes are all listed out on the bottom and if I go ahead and make this chart I'm noticing that um, 18 people need zero retakes so that would be up here, try to do that as best I can. 18 people need zero, um, zero people need one, and then it would be two, two, and then three, and then one, 
and three people for seven. So kind of there-ish. And two people for nine on one person for eleven. One person for eleven. So you see this bar chart works fine, but it um we have all these empty spaces, an empty space here, empty space here. We've got all this empty space and we had to do a lot of labeling down here uh, for things that don't even exist. So a histogram would be a much better option. And what you could do with the histogram is um, I can notice that since I'm taking this, actually these numbers, uh, 0 to 11 is actually 12 numbers. So I can split that into four groups evenly. Remember you need to split it into your, um, if you make a histogram they need to be split into even groups. So I chose to do uh, 0 through 3, 4 through 7, and 8 through 11, just to show, like, you know, this would be a little bit of retakes, or no to a little bit of retakes, a medium amount of retakes, and a lot of retakes that people need to do. And, and then I just totaled up these amounts. So in my category 0 through 3 retakes, you know, I have 23 people, and there's 4 people here, and 3 people in this category. So I made a new frequency chart to show that by the group, and I've made another table, and then I can go ahead and make a histogram. So 0 to 3 was 23 people. And so I'm going to kind of cut across. One thing that some histograms will do is they won't include any uh, gaps between the bars. They'll actually connect them just to make them even nicer looking and with no spaces. And 4 to 7 was four people, so that would be about here. And then the eight to 11 is three, so a little bit less. And you could even shade those in. So you can see with the histogram, it is a lot nicer to look at. It's also much easier to make because you don't have to, uh, again, you don't have to list all these numbers out. You can just kind of put them into categories. So it's a lot easier to do, and even making a frequency chart, if you were looking at numbers and you didn't have something like this already, a frequency chart would be easier to make too because you don't have as many categories in your frequency chart.